so welcome to In Conversation With. I'm joined by Gaps. Um, now, you've been on my channel before. Um, we didn't really get to chat much because it was quite hectic. So, yeah. we'll talk a bit more today. Um, so, so, you first shot to fame on Britain's Got Talent um, with your own song, Lighters. Um, you know, what, what, what was it like performing that song in front of such like empowering people, not empowering people, like such well-known people in a sense. Uh, it was quite scary, especially because I was, I was quite worried about Simon because obviously he might have pressed the buzzer and he, he, well, he knows what he's talking about so if he says it's not good then it's probably not good so yeah. I was really nervous but when I formed it with the I was really happy. Um, so how was, how's life been since Britain's Got Talents, is it? How's... It's, uh, it's changed a lot because um, I've, I've been doing loads more gigs where I have not used to do gigs and people come up to me on the street and lots of pictures and autographs and it's quite, it's quite weird, it's a lot of fun. Um, your last song was Holiday in Brazil. Um, yeah. Now I know you've got invited fans down to be in the video. Yeah. Um, and two of them fans were my friends oh, and they were, they were just they were romantic about going. Um, okay. what, what made you want to what made you want to get fans involved with that video? I thought it would just be fun because I had like family, I had two cousins, my brother, and loads of friends over. So I thought, I thought it would be fun to get the, the fans involved and it was all a lot of a good time and like a little party scene, so it's fun. Um, so I've got some fun questions here. Okay. Um, now, the first one is from a girl called Sophie. Um, she says, Hey Gabs, it's Sophie, what's the best memory? you have had so far in your career? Um, I think it was when Jesse J sang my song, like a part of my song Whitey's on the Radio 1 show and because Jesse J is my idol, so it was amazing. Um, she also asks, what what do you class your fans as fans or friends? Uh, friends. So like, <laughs> part fans, part friends. It's like, I do, like, I talk to them my friends but I don't get to see them a lot, so. Yeah, <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, Chloe Payne asks, what advice would you give to somebody applying for a talent show like Britain's Got Talent? Um, just to be confident and like kind of know what you're doing before you get there because it can be quite scary and I was really worried I was going to forget something and I played the first chord wrong so I know that you know, you've got to be practised enough. Um, another one comes from Charlotte Thomas, and she says, "If you could be, if you could be one piece of furniture in the house or around you, what would you be and why?" Would you lots. Um, that was an example of lots. That was Charlotte. Okay. Jeez. Um, it would be. Um, what is the question? Yeah. That's just Charlotte Potter making a racket. Um, if you could be one piece of furniture. In the house or around you, what would it be and why? Love you lots. Um, it would be I'd be in bed because I like to sleep. Yeah, that's it. Um, Sarah Billington asks, how did you get into music and how old were you? Um, I've been into music since like I can I can remember when I was younger. I used to listen to music in the car and sing along. I've always liked music and I always thought it'd be fun to be singing. So. I don't really know what age that was, but for as long as I can remember. Um, and Emily Dempsey asks, Hiya Gabs, I've been a huge fan ever since you were on Britain's Got Talent and I was just wondering if you were going to come to Ireland anytime soon because I really want to hear you sing live. Emily, kiss kiss. Um, I don't know, I hope so. Uh, as soon as I'm allowed I will go to Ireland. Yeah. Hopefully so. Um, and Sophie asked again, uh, how does it feel meeting your fans when they support you in your music? Um, it's great, it's really nice. Every time I meet them, they're really nice and friendly, and we get lots of selfies. And yeah, it's really nice meeting them, and I'm really thankful for all the support I've got. Um, so, what, so saving, that, saving today to about 10 years' time, what, what, where do you hope you'll be in a sense in 10 years time or where, or where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Um, I'd like to be touring the world with like number one platinum albums and uh, singing with Jessie J and massive stars like that. 
Um, so, obviously, before we start, we've got to chat about what you're doing in the future. Now, you're just working on the, you're working on quite a lot of things at the moment, but you're still doing events. Yeah. I'm Where can people find out about your events? Uh, you can go on our website, which is www.gabsofficial.com slash events, and that's the event page, and you'll find all my gigs that are coming up. Um, so, it's been it's been nice to talk to you again. You know, Me too. that's it. Thanks for sitting down and talking about but I'm hopefully we we'll would be better about jazz my crack it but um so I will watch your set after and have fun. Thank you. So thanks for being in conversation with you. Yeah.